Hi, darlings. How are you? This is going to be for my Geminis. And this is going to be for the weekend of the 15th through the 16th of April. I hope you guys are doing well. I will be using my Affirmators Tarot deck. And to clarify, I will be using tarot with keywords. So Gemini, this is for you. The Ten of Wands. You got a lot of responsibilities. The responsibilities are causing conflict and arguments. Yes, they are. Five of Wands, definitely conflict. Five of Pentacles, mindset of lack, something is being a thorn in your side. However, the Empress, abundance, maybe fertility, two of cups, unified love, the Hierophant, could be marriage or it could be some kind of contract or long-term committed relationship. The Nine of Wands, something is coming fast, but it seems like you want to get away. Why? It's just coming fast. And you see it coming. And the Two of Wands, waiting for something. You know what it is. <laughs> so let's see the ten of wands. See, I'm not in my oh, I'm being cut off a little bit, but you understand, I'm sure. So the Ten of Wands, on top of the Ten of Wands, we have the Four of Pentacles. So what could be a little extra responsibility or maybe feel like, like I'm going to use the word burden. That's how they describe this, the Ten of Wands. It may seem heavy. It may seem heavy. Money might be a little bit tight. Just do what you need to do, okay? Spend on what's necessary. But then you've got the four of wands and the four of pentacles could also mean that you're financially stable. And because of the finances, you might have extra responsibilities because, you know, sometimes when you got money, it just seems like there's so much more to do than when you didn't or when you had lack. I don't know. I don't know if I liked how I said that, but I'm going to leave it alone let it be. All right, so the Four of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. The Four of Wands is happiness, community, celebration, reunions, okay? So there was some kind of reunion that um, gave you some extra responsibility that probably made things a little tight financially. But it's causing some conflict. I got the Five of Swords. So let's see the Five of Swords. We got the Six of Swords and we got the Two of Cups. As much conflict as there is, you want to, there's a transition going on for you. 
it's responsibility, but it's a transition, okay? So, what I feel, and this is what I feel, I feel that you do have extra responsibility or you did have extra responsibility. It made funds tight. There was some kind of um, reunion that made this happen. I feel that um, things are going to start being calm. It's going to start straightening out if it hasn't already. And I got the two of cups, which stands for unified love and mutual attraction. So there's something good going on here regardless. Okay. So I got the six of swords and I got the two of cups above the five of swords. Now remember all arguments we can walk away from. All right. We ain't gonna argue with nobody. And you got the five of wands here too. That means you fussing. What you fussing about, Gemini? Queen of Cups. Now, this could be an energy in your environment. This could be a Pisces, a Scorpio, or a Cancer. Or it could be that you're feeling kind of sensitive right now. Maybe you're emotional about something. Maybe with everything that's going on. And you just can't see it right now see the good parts right now and the reason i know that is because i got the five of um pentacles the mindset of lack this could be within this could be arguments within yourself you, you, something within you maybe you're not saying it <laughs> gemini has a way to do that they keep things in um to a certain point to a certain point they'll keep things in make it seem everything is okay And then they just explode sometimes, not all the time. But your mindset of lack is temporary, okay? If the finances are tight, it's temporary. Remember that. The five of pentacles, finances are a pain, thorn in your side. That's the mindset of lack again. You got it here. You got to get out of your head. Get out of your head. No matter what is going on. You're negative, you're negative. And all these thoughts, all these fears, all these anxieties, everything's happening. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. All you're doing is feeding it. You're feeding it more and more and more and more. Take a deep breath, center yourself. Go outside and stand in that sunlight. Go outside and stand in that sunlight. And just breathe and let it all go. Let it all go. What's worry going to do for you? What's arguing going to do? It's just going to make the home environment or your environment toxic. It's going to feel like it's a place you don't want to be. So, five of pentacles. Let's see if things can change for you. I got the queen of pentacles here. <clears throat> and I got the page of wands. So the Queen of Pentacles could be a Virgo, a Taurus, or a Capricorn. They're nurturing, practical, and they're also the money manager. So this could be your mindset right now, Gemini. This could be your mindset. Maybe you're thinking about a business venture or something like that. Maybe you're thinking, maybe you already have a business and you're thinking about that. You know, well, let me see what else I can do because you're very good if this is you or whoever is in your environment, they, they can lead you correctly, okay? They can lead you in the right way, but you need to trust yourself instead. Um, uh, the page of wands, you got some new ideas coming and you're in discovering that you are limitless. You hear me, Gemini? You are limitless. The Queen of Pentacles, and the page of wands. And then you got the empress. This is abundance again. Abundance, fertility. See how things change? Things don't stay, things don't stay the same. They change. Depends. You need to wake it up. Wake it up. Come on. Come on. Wake it up. Wake it up. So the empress. The Ace of Swords, you're going to have clarity. And you got the Ten of Pentacles, unexpected income coming in. And you're going to have mental clarity about something. You're going to have a successful breakthrough. 
whatever it is that you're worrying about and your mindset, you're going to finally see that, you know what, it's not worth it. And then you got the two of cups here. This is unified love, something love, some love comes, some kind of love coming. Now, if you're in a relationship, and I, I keep forgetting to say this, if you're in a relationship, it could be that your relationship could be moving to another level, okay? Um, you got the nine of swords above this. This love is keeping you up at night. And it's got you off balance, the two of pentacles. Now, is it the love that has you off balance or is it the finances that has, have you off balance? Well, the thing about it is you just got so much going on and you got a lot of priorities and you're just juggling it, okay? You're just juggling and with that, you got a lot of anxiety going on. So, take a breath. Prioritize. Put right down what needs to be done prioritize them the top priority and so forth these that is if these are things that can actually be done i'm not talking about worry worrying about shit you can't fix okay we're not talking about that we're talking about things we can fix and the hierophant might be the marriage or the commitment you got the nine of pentacles and you got the five of wands too. Baby, there's something that's stopping you from seeing our babies. There's something that's stopping you from seeing all what's around you. There's some kind of conflict going on. Like, like you're competing with, with people. Don't compete. Do not. Do not compete. Don't compete. For always, there will be greater or lesser people than you. And that's okay. So, you're going to start seeing your rewards, okay, darling? Just don't get, don't, don't, don't get into no argument or anything. Just step back. Be the bigger person. And this is over a commitment. A contract, a committed relationship, long-term relationship, a marriage. And the nine of wands. Page of cups. You're running from love. <laughs> Ah, the Page of Cups is about new love, creating opportunities, <clears throat> new messages coming in. And the Knight of Wands, this is a passionate ass energy that's come in. This energy, this energy that's coming towards you is passionate. And it's coming fast. And you want to run. You want to run. The Page of Cups and the Knight of Wands. I think things are going to be fine for you. You're waiting for something. The Two of Wands. You got the King of Swords, which is you, Gemini. And the Three of Swords. So, you might be thinking of communicating with someone Gemini who broke your heart or it could be you're experiencing or you're going to be experiencing a broken heart some kind of emotional pain hurt divorce loss depression betrayal however darling on top of that I put the <laughs> I pulled the page of pentacles manifest with your heart your desires, your dreams. Keep it here. Don't ever let it go. Feel it. Oh. And just make it, see, see it happening. Don't let it go. And just feel it. And do your manifestations in a place of love, peace, and calm. And do everything you possibly can with your heart. All right. The Page of Pentacles. <clears throat> There's a financial opportunity also ahead for you. And you're going to get some information. I love you guys. You take care of yourself. And I will chat with you soon. <laughs>